Well, hey there, YouTube. This is Matthew with Cook Vending. I'm putting another video out today. Um, tonight, today, I will actually want to talk about uh, some catalogs that I get in the mail uh, from Art Scroll. So, if you guys have not gone on www.artscroll.com, that's A R T S C R O L L. If you haven't gone on that website, I highly recommend that you do because there's a lot of biblical material there. A lot of uh, Jewish biblical material. So I always get this in the mail. This is like maybe a quarterly catalog. Maybe I get like four of them per year or something like that. And it's, you know, maybe uh, 20 some odd pages or more uh, worth of, uh, oh, actually more than 20 some odd. I see the number 71 up there. Uh, there's a lot of material in this in this little book here. So I just open it up to um, Tosafot uh, and then Ein Yaakov. So there's a lot of different uh, uh, biblical materials in here, um, you know, commentaries and such. Now, the other catalog that I just recently asked for uh, was the complete catalog. This thing is thick. There's a lot of material in this book alone. So it, it probably doesn't reflect current prices, uh, but it might actually. And uh, out of these catalogs, I always go hunting for the uh, Hebrew English translations of these texts. Now, a couple of things that I actually have on my table in front of me right now that I've gotten in the past. Uh, this is the art scroll Tehillim. This is your Psalms. It's a smaller book. You can see the English on this side, the Hebrew on that side there, and the commentary down at the bottom there. So it's actually a very uh, good book uh, to look at too, especially if you are studying your Hebrew. You can look at the English and compare and be like, oh, okay, well, why is this word uh, like that? You know, why is it translated as such? Uh, and then you look in your other uh, English Bibles that are Christian Bibles, and you're like, oh my goodness, why are they saying this there? That makes no sense at all. Anyways, so that's always fun uh, to do. So that's the Art Scroll Tehillim. Um, do I have another book that I had up here? Yes. Um, another one I got was the Concise Book of the Mitzvot. This is, uh, Mitzvot are the, uh, the Torah laws. Uh, and so this book here is saying that there's the um, uh, 613 laws in here. Now, eh, I'm not really so sure that there's 613. I actually have tried and got kind of bored and I need to just redo it again. Um, I need to take the entire uh, Tanakh not the Tanakh, just the just the Torah portion, the first five books, and then just uh, delete off of my computer um, all the stories, and just leave the laws and count how many laws there actually are. Um, but anyways, this is a good book until then. Like for example, uh, it says it is a positive commandment because there's positive and negative commandments. Uh, it is a positive commandment to clear away leavened food on the 14th of Nisan. Or another one, it is a negative commandment to steal no object or item, whatever of monetary value. Um, and then another one, let's see here. And so these are basic laws that you would expect, you know, from any culture and country, you know, like... Uh, people living in Russia might think that American laws are weird. You know, it's the same thing. Um, it is a negative commandment for a judge not to hear the, the argument of one party to a lawsuit where the other party is not there. So you got to have both parties there uh, in order to hear a lawsuit. So, yeah. This book's a really good book as well. Nice and concise little small book. Um, then I have the Art Scroll Tanakh. And I love that book. That was my very first uh, Art Scroll 
book that I had received. Now, um, and that's what you often see me use in my other videos. Now, this smaller catalog here, I believe it was in the back uh, that I looked at it earlier. Okay, yeah. The ultimate gift for the one who has everything. Now, I don't have everything, um, but this ultimate gift is very smart to have because it uh, eliminates, uh, you know, a lot of clutter. So if I was to buy just only books all the time, I would have a gigantic bookshelf, but then there's the potential of uh, you know, losing those books or, um, you know, not having anything at your fingertips to where you could just look something up super fast. That's why they created uh, the Art Scroll Digital Library Wasserman Digital Initiative. You get two options, the iPad, which is a 10.2 inch, or the iPad Pro, which is a 12.9 inch. And this year's catalog for 2022 says the iPad uh, is $1,000 and the iPad Pro is $2,000. Um, but what they have in there is preloaded books that you wouldn't have to purchase to put on your bookshelf. Uh, and let me see if I can share with you what those books are. Okay. All this in the palm of your hands says, um, you get like Mishnah, uh, Talmud. Uh, it says uh, the Tanakh is in there, the Shulchan Aruch, uh, the Hafa Masilis Yesharim, uh, Digital Smart Sidarim. Then you get Daily Dose of Torah, the Tehalim. Uh, then you get Friedberg Rambam and various popular ebooks and more, it says. So there's a lot of stuff uh, that's in this tablet alone. I'm really considering getting one uh, because, yeah, I have my uh, my Talmud up in my my little library, but I haven't pulled it down in, for a long time, mainly because you know, we're human beings and we get tired of certain subjects and we want to, you know, go into other things. Like with me, it's music and Stephen King. And then of course, biblical literature. So, uh, but you do get burned out. That's why I think it would be a smart idea to get this tablet. Um, then, let me see here, was there other stuff? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you wanted to get other products, like um, they are selling radio things. They sell um, the uh, uh, what are those things called? Like a like a podiums. They sell candles. They sell you know kid toys, all kinds of neat things uh, in there. Like um, during like um, Hanukkah, you'll have like the menorah. Uh, for sale. And I think it's probably in here. Just maybe you passed over it. Um, some other books that I ended up getting from them are called Olam Ha Avodas and Olam Ha Midos. And both of those books have to do with this term called Musar. And it has to do with uh, Musar has to do with being like moral to each other and how to be respectful and, and, you know, this and that and the other. So yeah, I've gotten a lot of books from, uh, from art scroll over the years. And I really, I highly recommend it. Like I said, so go to www.artscroll.com and, uh, or you could call them up. There's a phone number. It says 1-800-MESORA, and that's MESORA is M-E-S-O-R-A-H. So, yeah. Um, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit that notifications button, too, so you can get more content like this in a more timely manner. Let's have a fantastic, blessed day.
I'll see you in the next video.